Police and fire departments from across North America came together in Colorado Springs today to mourn those who lost their lives in the line of duty this past year. Many of those added to the wall of honor, losing their lives to cancer. News 5's Laura Wilson is in studio with more. Laura. Well, Zach, the International Association of Firefighters says more than three quarters of the people honored today died of work-related cancer. It's an alarming statistic that the IAFF says they're looking to change so they won't have so many names to add to the wall in the future. Uh, now to the story we've been trying to get to all night. We assure you it's never anticlimactic to feature the IAFF Fallen Firefighter Memorial. Always poignant. Laura Wilson here once again to give us a look inside that ceremony. Yes, third time is the charm on this one. It was a beautiful and a very emotional memorial today. Take a look. Their years of dedicated service and their supreme sacrifice are not now and will never be forgotten. Inscribed upon these granite walls, more than 7,600 names of men and women who put the lives of others before their own. Each name tells a story, and each story coming to an end with the somber ping of this bell, which symbolizes past traditions ringing out when firefighters would begin their tour of duty or when a fire was out and an alarm had ended. We will again sound their last alarm. They have gone home. In 2016, 43 firefighters and paramedics died in the line of duty. And the other 153 names honored today all died from work related cancers. Forward! March! 87 of those deaths happening between 1977 and 2015. But in 2016 alone, 66 cancer related deaths. A disease taking our members that are healthier than the majority of the general population when they start their career. The International Association of Firefighters promising to try and return each year with fewer names to add to the wall of honor. We'll continue to provide the necessary training to make sure our members go home safely at the end of their shift and to advance the technology and standards we used to make our equipment safer. But for 7,600 brave men and women, their names are now immortalized. And we're told 14 of those honored today died of cancer, scientifically linked to toxic exposures during cleanup at Ground Zero, which, as you know, was the site of the 9-11 World Trade Center attack.